I don't know the rest of that. Kitty, um, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yes. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Forgot to Roboto. Kitty on the phone. I don't want to touch it. Uh, yeah, so we're playing more of this Metroidvania clone. It is me, Insane Ian. And I'm JP Tuesday. And ironically, we're actually recording this on a Tuesday. Yes. It, that, that doesn't usually happen. It hasn't happened in previous episodes. Uh, we actually just went... Uh, we're at a Weird Al concert over the weekend. When yeah. we recorded this, uh, it is long past uh, from when we're, we're actually... At least a month by the time this thing was out. At least. Well, I just bypassed all of that by doing that, by jumping over that instead. Yep. Although it doesn't really matter because that's... Alright, we'll figure it out. There we go. So, uh, Al Concert. Yeah, the Weird Al show. He did the uh, Strings Attached Tour. Weird Al with a full symphony orchestra. His he said it was a forty-one piece orchestra. Though I think we start, we hear from someone else that it was considerably more than that. It did we? Because I know it was supposed to be. He announced that the orchestra was supposed to be a seventy-one piece orchestra on Twitter. And uh, and when he was at the show, he said it was forty-one. And most of the shows have been forty-one. But maybe that's just the, the script he's going by. Yeah, maybe maybe that was the script he was going with with that particular lineup number. So we, we it was a very unconventional venue. We started at the Ravinia Ravinia Park. Yep, part which of the is, summer concert series. So which is uh, lots of people around with uh, tables full of wines and cheeses. Those are pros. Those those are professional concert park goers. Yes. They were very much in That's how you the, do it. Uh, if, you're, if you're going to have a, see a concert in a park, why not have, you know, not just traditional picnic, but full-on table and wines and things? Yes. Agreed. Because if you're going to do it up, do it up right. Yep. As I run into a frog. Twice. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four times. It's terrible. I, I am at all of the death. death, so death you yeah. go through here. I remember what happened because I did it last time. Let's go up. Let's go up and see what's up. Oh, that's right. That's this. All of the other death. Fish missiles. Fishals. Fi the fishals, yes. Uh, 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 I'm not even sure what these are supposed to even I don't be. know, but they look fun. You got a goofy face with the tongue hanging out, and you shoot them in the air, and they go a little wacky. And they're dead. So that's cool. So I need health for my mech thing. Mech thing. Got to avoid all the death things. But I didn't, and I died. This, this is a good time. I was the deathing. The deathingtons. The deathingtons. Deathington Jones and the family. So, uh, back to, uh, the, the Al concert. Everyone yeah! Concert. Very unique concert, because again, big, uh, as you said, it was a 41-piece orchestra. Yeah, and, and some songs, like, that you wouldn't expect him to do on this tour with an orchestra, he did. Like, Smells Like Nirvana with a full orchestra. So yeah, imagine, you know, Nirvana with a full symphony orchestra. Yeah, there's... Is unique. Or, you know, Amish Paradise, or... Amish like, Paradise made a little bit more uh, sense because, you know, it, it kind of has that choral elements to it, especially the backing vocals. Oh, and Lisa Popeil, who's been on all, a lot of Al's albums as a backup singer, was on this tour with him, so that was cool. Yeah, Lisa Popeil, of course, the, uh, the good granddaughter of Ron Popeil? I believe so. Something like that. Pretty much invented a lot of the old. Uh, if you were a child of the eighties, eighties, you know, all, basically all those infomercials. He invented all that stuff, like the Ginsu knives and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So I mean, Al did a song about Mr. Popeil called Mr. Popeil. It's a uh, it's B fifty two's pastiche, and uh, yeah, it's so, definitely. Uh, I would consider that a B track. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a B side. I don't think it was ever a single, but it was. Uh, it's still pretty cool. I like that song. And, uh, you know, it was, it was cool to see her on stage uh, with two other backup singers whose names unfortunately elude me at the moment. Uh, but, uh, you know, did uh, some songs that I'd never heard in concert before. Uh, I don't think they ever did download this song before this tour. 
I or want don't to, don't download this song. I should say. I, part of me wants to say he did it during self indulgent, but I may be wrong. Yeah, I don't know if he did, especially because it it is a song that kind of is more benefited by having a large orchestra. Yeah. It, oh gosh, frog! Really? I'm I don't want to keep dying in the same spot, and I keep end up dying in the same spot. This is going to suck a lot. Oh my goodness. All of, of the course, angry, hearing, uh, angry death. Hearing, uh, okay, so for those of you who've never been to a Weird Al games of a concert, most of his concerts tend to start with a song called Fun Zone, which is from the movie UHF. Yeah, or, well, it was originally from Welcome to the Fun Zone, I think, which was a TV show that he was trying to do, or Dr. Mento was trying to do, that he did the theme song for. Or does it, or may, maybe I'm, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe that song wasn't for that at all. I think it was just only on the UHF soundtrack. It just the name convention is the same. Uh, but anyway, yeah, his concerts usually start with that song. And this time he got a full orchestra playing that song. Which is awesome. That was really great to hear. I, I really enjoyed that. Oh, wow. Nope. It's a lot of scaling here. <laughs> kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, unlike the tour he did last year, you know, this one did bring back the backing videos and the costume changes. Which yeah, the which is a welcome tour. return. Yeah, previous the uh, previous tour he did was the self indulgent tour, the self indulgent vanity tour, which pretty uh, much was you know no uh, he was still doing funny songs, but he wasn't doing any of the parody songs and yeah scaled back you no know, no costume changes no backing videos just something that he wanted to do pretty much a it was definitely a tour done for the hardcore Al fan if you're a casual Al fan. A lot of people who uh, who were very casual Al fans, you know, did not like the concert because he was being weak. Mostly because he was not doing uh, their their personal favorites, which were a lot of the parodies. Yeah, we've got, we've seemed to reach an impasse here. I can't get this thing to move because you, I'm, I guess no the, button. I'm missing the, the buttons on the other side. You just have to go into kitty mode. Maybe I'm gonna go into kitty mode here and see where I'm gonna go this way. Uh, nowhere. This is useless. So I'm really good at it. Um, uh, there was one little moment before the kind of like when we got to the park. There was this very cool marching band. Yeah, and they were kind of just walking around Ravinia playing, and uh, very Danny Elfman esque music. It was kind of cool. Um, but we didn't get the symphony playing songs before the concert started, and a lot of other venues had yeah. that. Um, so that was a little interesting. We did oh, get, you know, oh, there's a treadmill there. That's it. Mm -hmm. This is what needs to be done. Kitty treadmill. Kitty treadmill. That's what brings the suit over. Kitty treadmill. It's not. It's not the uh, drain with the treadmill. It is the kitty. The treadmill to move that. I'm good with the words now. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I went there on my own. And you were there with uh, with your girlfriend. Yep. And uh, that was uh, how was her experience with? The oh, pretty. Uh, she she enjoyed it. Uh, for what's funny is uh, we've been both have been weird outfits for a very long time, but I have been to uh, a considerable amount more shows than she has. You want to tell the people how many Weird Al shows have you been to? This was my 25th Weird Al concert. Um, certainly not the most of any fan by any stretch of the imagination. I, I know, a, yeah, I, think I know Luke many Ski fans have been, been to, to a lot. quite more. Yeah, Luke Ski, Luke Ski, our our buddy Luke has been to a, a bunch of those shows, probably quite a bit. There's um, man, I'm glad I got out of there fast. Yeah. I mean, there's people who are there Al. Concerts are up in the, into the hundreds. Yeah, I mean, I know a couple of people whose whose concerts uh, who were there last night too, yeah. and I, we unfortunately didn't run into them. But but legendary Al fans like Happy Steve or uh, Marty, aka Torso Boy. Yes, if you ever heard the song Albuquerque, that guy Marty, he is the person that was the inspiration for the Torso Boy joke in that. In that in yeah, that. he actually is that Marty, uh, though he, you know, is not. Just yes, he does torso. have his his arms. He he, and legs. he he does have his arms and legs. He's not a he's not just a torso. Why did I get out? Some more of this. Yes, 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 he does. Oh, bad. Uh. 
missiles. Keep missing. There we go. Oh, 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 oh water. Death above, death below. Death becomes her. Good movie. Oh, I love that movie. You pushed me down the stairs. If that movie was to be made today, you'd be so much CGI and they did, but they did allow that with practical effects. They right? did! They did, and it's great. Uh, it's a it's a fantastic movie. Oh, man. Uh, Meryl Streep and uh, Daryl Hannah. And Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn? Okay, Goldie Hawn. And um, uh, Bruce Willis. Yes. If you have to, if, uh, those of you who have not seen the movie, do so. It is a very funny movie. It's a great movie. It still holds up, honestly. It's a Zemeckis movie, isn't it? I believe so. Wow. I managed to survive that. Barely. The, 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 the uh, how would you describe that movie to someone who's never seen Death Becomes Her? Uh, immortality gone awry. Yes. Imagine if you had the ability to look young forever. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. I'm going to go this way but, to go yeah. back to the save. Yeah. And everything so just goes wrong. Free health. Anything that could go wrong in living forever does. Yeah, it's pretty brilliant. It's a it's a great dark comedy. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies, and uh, I will talk about that movie to anyone who ever wants to hear it. It's great. Um, yeah, I I think I heard a rumor that they're turning it into a Broadway musical or something. They're turning everything into a Broadway musical. That's true. Guess, they, I mean, last year they did Beetlejuice the musical. Which did really well, and some of the music sounds really great. So, that's pretty fun. One more drain left. Meow. Stay motivated, Kiki. You've got this. We're talking about musicals, and there's a cat, and we're not going to be talking about that one. No, no, we're, we're going to uh, ignore the elephant, or in the, the badly CGI'd person in the room, with that cat's trailer. The badly CGI'd... Uh... Uh, Rebel Wilson in the room. Oh, I don't think even Rebel Wilson is the problem most people had with that trailer. I think it was James Corden. <laughs> uh, but just all of that trailer, all of, like, they, they were decent dancers and they had costumes on them. They just added so much it just became Uncanny Valley. Okay, oh, I can go down here now. Sky Frog. Uh, because, yeah, it's, it was locked here, so I can go down now. Oh. I'd help if I actually use the missiles. Whoa! That was oh, that was almost. Oh yeah, this, 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 is where I, this is where I swam through. So right. that's how I get through faster is by shooting the thing. There's something that. Oh. Yeah. You might have to go in the kitty mode for this. I do have to go to kitty mode for that because it's too tall. Kitty mode. Oh boy, another module. It, and that's the thing, it's such a Metroidvania game, you have to, like, go through and find all the secrets and stuff. The Starboard Palette. Access your menu to try it out. Over and out. That's very you know, let's, let's actually try one of these, uh, palettes here. Wait, go. Soft. Bark. Starboard. I kind of like Starboard. I mean, it's still all black and white, but... But yeah, that's... Uh, no, no, no. Back. That's not bad. It's a little better on the eyes. Go into the mech. Get into the mech and shoot the stuff. All right. So, let's see. Do I uh, we can go back to talk about the Al concert, if you like? Yeah, so here's, here's one of the things about that Al show, too, is that, like... Uh, I bet you these type of things are things you can grab onto later. Yeah, probably. You might go, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get into the kitty suit. Or, the kitty suit. Get out of the suit into kitty mode. Yes! Gonna have to go back down this way, and then... I guess there's a... Oh! Dead fish. Oh, 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 this is bad. You're gonna need to get the elevator back. Uh, uh. Oh, I am. Oh, man. How do I get over that? Oh, 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 everybody exploded. The cat, ex the cat died and it killed them. That was bizarre. So you're going to get on that treadmill again and bring the, that little elevator back and then get on it with the suit. Well, here's the thing. The elevator's back. The elevator's over. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. You're right. But, like, I'm trying to figure out how to get up there. I couldn't jump up there to do it. Hmm. 
Like I can't, I can't make the jump over there. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I can. Yeah, get out of the cat suit, or get out of the mech suit. And... Yeah, now that the cat, now that the mech suit is here, I make this go over there. We figured it out. Oh no, no, no! It's back. Too much. Again. Too much. Too much. Let's see if that's enough. Because there's no way to judge. That's enough. That's close. Oh man, how am I gonna... How am I gonna get past that? I can't climb on the ceiling. Maybe if... Man! I jumped into my death. Alright. All right, we can do this. We have to do this, because it's the end of the episode. <laughs> All right, do... Uh, uh, Wait, you know what? I don't need to bring that over here. There you go. I just... because the water's gone. We did figure it out! We figured out that I'm stupid! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where am I going now? There's a safe room over here. That's good. Oh. Zig! I'm going into the save room, and that's a good place for us to stop. If you want to see us play Gato Roboto more, leave a comment in the comment section, and yep. maybe we'll return to this. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Yada, All yada, of that yada. stuff. I've been avoiding saying it. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>